and I thought I'd give you a bit of an idea of the dogs I run and the reasons I run them. Uh, the oldest dog I got would be Hope. This is Hope out here. Good girl, sit. Good girl, good girl. So, Hope, as you can see, is a stumpy tail cross. He's actually found it starving up north in her community. And uh, she was coming into camp eating the um, scraps, like pawpaw and that sort of thing. And uh, sort of couldn't leave her there. So we've got Hope here. Didn't actually have hunting dogs when I got Hope. So when she was about four or five, took her out to Bali. Yeah, she loved it. Couldn't stop her, so started coming hunting with me. She's recently been retired, not for too long. Hey, old girl. Um, she pulled a cruciate ligament in her back leg, which put her out, cost me a few grand to get her better. And uh, yeah, she's just getting on a bit. Next, we got Arlie. She's, what's she, about five now? Hey, early girl. Keep the two rat bags interested with a stick. Come on, girl. You sit too. Ali, come on. You sit down. Ali's pretty wise and not silly enough to sit in a puddle, obviously. But uh, yeah, she's five. By far and away, my best dog. Uh, she's just been out for eight or so months. She pulled all the ligaments in this ankle here. Uh, and I've been working on her pretty much non stop since then, taking her swimming. Um, trying to fix the fix the joint up as best I can. Uh, putting a brace on there, walking her, and then just in the last few months I've been running her a couple of k's each day and she seems to be holding up well to it. So she's just starting to get back into her hunting again. And uh, she's a gun. She'll, oh, if you're heading into a property at 80 k's an hour, she'll lose her mind in the cage if there's a pig that we just drove past. She's just... She knows her stuff, don't you big girl? Uh, she's bully cattle whippet, crossed with a long haired border collie. Hey girl. And yeah, that's her. And after her, we've got Toby boy. Hey Toby. Hey little fella. So, Toby's a muscly little ball of dog, aren't you mate? As you can probably tell, he's got a fair bit of whippet in him. He's Bull Terrier cross cattle dog, um, which was his mother, and then on his father's side is purebred whippet. So um, he's fast as anything. He'll clock oh, over 50 k's, and I want to take him for a run. He's really quick. He's just starting to develop his nose. He's about oh, 17, 18 months old now, and uh, he's just starting to click. He's hard as anything. I was hoping for a bailer with you, wasn't all mate? But, um, yeah, he's just, yeah, no fear at all of a pig, charges in, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's Toby boy. He's, I've got high hopes for Toby, he should be a good dog. And in the background over here, we've got the little rascal. Come on, Digi. Come on, Digi. Now, little Digi, little Digi. Oh. Little Digi I ended up with, um, there's a breeder that breeds this this breed, they're a uh, Tenerfield Terrier, so a little tiny terrier, crossed cattle dog with a tiny bit of, tiny bit of collie in her, Lithgow Collie apparently, and uh, Digi, where are you little Digi, you're a bit of a rascal, yeah, it's easy to wind up this little dog, she's about 10 months now, but uh, they were having problems with their chasing horses and all that sort of thing and they didn't want her to go to a family. Most of the dogs go to families and that sort of thing. And uh, they were scared if she went to a family, she'd end up either rounding up the kids or uh, causing a bit of mischief around the place. So I've got a little Digi. She's seen a couple of pigs. Not doing a whole lot with them, but that's right. That's how we started out. But she's got the idea of the smell and all that sort of thing. So. When you're driving around, you'll notice before the other dogs jump, she'll pick up the scent and she'll also pick up the scent on the ground and she'll go out and she'll find them. She's actually found me a couple of pigs but just doesn't know what to do when she gets to them is all. Now the reason I run the dogs that I run, most of them have whippet in them so I like the speed of the whippet but I'm not a fan of big dogs. So smaller dogs generally handle the heat better 
Um, I do like my balers. Hey, Toby. But uh, you get what you're given. Um, yeah, just with the country I hunt, lots of sugarcane. Smaller dogs tend to get through it a lot quicker. The reserving against the heat, it takes you a little while to get there. Um, rainforest, they can zip through the little holes that wallabies and that sort of thing make. Little pigs, all their little little tracks for getting around and uh, catch up to the pigs. They're still pretty fast in the open. They do struggle a little bit when there's longer grass um, as they can't sort of stride out over the top of it as some of the big dogs do. But with any breed, you're going to get your wins and your losses. So for the country I hunt, they're perfect. So uh, that's the dogs. And yeah, thought you might want to might want to find out what I run and why I run them. So yeah, hope you're all having a good day.